morning welcome to something saturday so i thought this morning i'll give you a quick quick tour of my craft room because it is quite a mess but um, part of the reason is because what we're going to do today is stuff that i have um pulled so what happens when i'm creating things is i end up with lots of little off cuts of different things and i sort of shove them into this little section of my desk um and they all end up sitting there for what probably a few months if the truth be told <laughs> um so today i thought we'd we'd pull them all out and have a see whether we can do something with them um and i thought you might like to see how i have my craft room organized and if organization is a um thing with me <laughs> anyway i'm gonna stop the video because i want to turn it round and i just tried this and it didn't work so hopefully it'll work this time so here is my desk which actually is looking a lot tidier than it normally does believe it or not um i have oh goodness <laughs> gonna stop so that is my pile of stuff that is usually over there which um just just around about there i usually just shove everything there and it just piles up and piles up as you can see bit of a pile going on there um anyway so beside beside me when i'm working i usually do have my silicone craft mat and i usually have my um um can't think of what that one's called but it's a, another mat and i usually have my um my cleaner so that's just the um, the one that i can just stamp my stamps onto and it cleans it however under here we go under the desk Ooh, under the desk right under the desk we have all oh, sustenance that's always good isn't it some country cheese crackers uh oh um we also have my clear blocks and we have these which i have my vanilla cards and envelopes and my white cards and envelopes in i pre-cut those so that i've always got a few sitting there and then over on this side oh look at that we've got a new catalogue i always have my catalogue somewhere beside me and i also have my cutter under there see one cutter and that sort of sits in this basket thing along with my um you can't really see this Ugh. um my what's it called um stamping scrub that's the word i'm after so let's just pop those back chuck those back up again there we go new catalogue isn't it beautiful um also down here i usually have my white and vanilla card stock so this is just my off cuts of card stock my real ones are up behind me and they look a lot better well in theory they look better then behind us over here i have a basket and this has all my different colored cardstock in it so i've got my greens and i've got my grays and purples blues black uh browns and yellows i've kind of lumped those in together my pinks and corals and my reds so those those are my card stocks there that are as i say all my off cuts then i have up here i have one of these ones that has like a half size and that's for any of my cardstock that is a um, little bit bigger and i don't really want it going into one of those um, bags because it kind of gets a bit crushed sometimes in the bag so i'll get my my half pieces of cardstock in there and then my full pieces of cardstock sit in here and up there and then in the middle of them i have my stamps which oh goodness sorry dropped it uh which are looking a little depleted at the moment because i have been through my stock and taken out everything that's retiring which is currently down in uh, not really forget that uh then over on this side here <laughs> i i think i may have a bit of a punch um addiction so these are all punches and sadly everything on that side are retired and everything on wait for it where's my finger gone to there um are going to be current when the new catalog comes in <laughs> which is a little bit sad but there you go um then we will just quickly 
come around here and wonder whether there's anything else that I was going to show you. Oh, yes, I know. The other thing. So when you see photos that I have taken on my blog, that is where I take my photos. So you can see it's um, very high tech. Um, it's actually just got a bit of lino that sits in there. Um, and it does mean that I can lay my cards down on there, take photos through that top section. And, and there's a little light switch so I can turn it on and off. So, yeah, that's, that's how um, my craft room is kind of set out. I'm going to stop the video and get this up into this, just so you can see it. Uh, so that's what my um, um, camera, uh, phone is usually sitting on so that um, I can actually t um, do the videos so that you end up with both of my hands in it. So I'm going to stop the video now and just get that set up. There we go. All right, so my pile of stuff literally has anything that I think may, may be of some sort of use to me at some point in the future. <laughs> which is a fairly wide scope. So it actually has um, this piece on it, which just so happens to be 12 by 12 because it's come out of a pack of um, uh, window sheeting. And I was kind of thinking, oh yeah, at some point I'll be able to do um, faux silk with that. So maybe at some point we will do faux, faux silk with that. But what else have I got in here? Let me sit and contemplate. Uh, so we also have some mocked up pieces that um, at some point I've obviously thought, ooh, that could be an interesting card. You know, you could put something on the front there and then it would open up and it would look kind of cool. Um, might not do anything with that today. Got another mocked up piece, which I have a feeling I may have done something with. So we'll find out in a minute if it's in this pile of stuff. Another mocked up piece, which is kind of similar to this, only it goes the other way. So I was kind of wondering whether it would be possible to make something with that um, at some point. So they are just my templatey bits for me to have a play around with at some point. And then we also have um, things that I've taken to school to do with the kids. Uh, oh, this is another one of the ones that I took to school to do with the kids. So we've got a whole heap of bits that I've pre-cut. Um, uh, wish I'd left them with the kids at school, but there you go, I didn't. <laughs> uh, I've got some pieces. Oh, hello, wonder what that was. Oh, let's get rid of it. Oh, goodness. Um, just some pieces of coloured cardstock there. So let's put that to one side. Oh, that's a pretty piece. Um, obviously that I intended to do something with some of these. This actually might be a finished card. It looks like it could well be. Interesting that it ended up in that pile of stuff. Let's chuck it over there. What about this one? Uh, looks like it could do with a bit of bling. Just so happens. So we're just going to take it and start doing things uh just so happens that i have some things that are retiring over here so i'm kind of figuring that this bling would look quite good with this uh let's grab my take your pick tool and add some of it um oh before i forget i'm just gonna slide down the side there um I wrote something down to, to remind myself. So before I forget, obviously things are retiring at the moment. Um, and, oh, um, so, so you want to check out the retiring list for starters um, because there's a whole heap of things that have been drastically reduced, which is always a bonus really, isn't it? Um, and then the other thing is, so I'm not sure whether I've mentioned this before, but coming up in July, um we're doing so i'm part of a wider team and our wider team is organizing an event in ballarat which is a demonstrator only event so if you know anyone who's a demonstrator other than me obviously um and they might be interested in coming to a um 
sort of stamping up event so it's so stamping up have said that they will sponsor 35 global events this year um, and we all had to put our applications in to do this and and we're so excited because we've actually been chosen to be one of those 35 events that stamping up will get behind and they're going to send someone from the home office over in the states to it um, we're all going to get a little gift which is exciting um it's it's a two-day event so it's well worth it um but we just thought it would be nice to have something that's um see otherwise there will be nothing for people to do um that's stamping up related that they can come to in person so um yeah so if you know of anyone who is a demonstrator who might be interested in doing that get them in touch with me because we would love to have them along we've got room for up to 200 people i think we're um we're possibly almost at 100 i think almost i'm already i'm not sure but yeah um the end of this month is the registration cutoff date so the other thing is if you aren't a demonstrator and you think hey heather that sounds amazing because it really will be amazing um then again get in touch with me and say hey i would like to join your team because it's amazing being part of my team hey that that card's now finished so we can put that on the other side um i reckon this one i'm going to do the same thing with although i might put a bit of might see if there's anything else in here that i can add a saying to that's not the right color uh there might be more in here that we can use um so anyway, yes, if you would like to join my team, then um, have a chat to me about it because it is so worth being part of my team. I'm going to find some Christmas sayings. So this set here, Brightest Glow, is continuing on into the new catalogue. I'm sure that one of these sayings must fit on here. That one looks good. wonder what that says. <laughs> For you and yours this Christmas. Excellent. That sounds... Sounds fabulous. So I'm just going to grab one of those. And I can't remember if I showed you my um, where my inks are, but they sort of sit beside me and they've got a little rotunda thing that um, they all sit in. So the problem is that I actually did the first part of the video twice because I discovered that it hadn't worked the first time round. So let's just pop that straight onto there for you and yours this Christmas lovely let's get rid of the excess ink on that and might just dip the edge of that into there Ooh. So we'll see how many we can get done of these and um, hopefully it won't be too boring for you. Oh, and well, I'm now I'm getting ink all over me. So, yeah, the other good reason for having this here is that you can rub your fingers onto it. <laughs> uh, and I definitely need this because it looks like I'm getting a few extra bits here from my um, my dunking so yeah, I've actually added a little extra piece onto there but that's okay because you know I could always put something onto that so I reckon that could sit on there let's find over here I have some adhesives just in a pot at the end of my desk there so I'm just gonna go one two three oh and also under my desk i have a dustbin so let's just pop that down we'll just mirror what we've got there i wonder what that is oh that's pretty uh right so again i reckon do i use those do i use these these are all retiring how sad is that pop some of these onto here uh, <laughs> yeah that's that's what happens 
when you end up with a um, bit, bit of um, ink where it shouldn't be. You end up with a bit of bling on the ink. Not convinced that I actually like that. Hang on, let's just quickly whip that off, put that one over there and this one over here, I think. That's much better. <laughs> yep, I'm happy with that. So another card finished off. This is good. What else have we got in here? Oh, look, we've got another one. I wonder if I've actually got any Christmas sayings that are in here. So we've got, oh my goodness, there's more cards. Oh, <laughs> oh look at this piece. It hasn't got anything in the middle of it. That's not so exciting. Uh, classic, authentic, since no, that's no good. Oh, look, some Christmassy stuff. <gasps> I could add a couple of those into there. What other colours have we got here? Uh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, not sure about the um, the silver going with that. What else have we got? Mm, yeah, perhaps those two. That's that's kind of nice. Although they would also look good for wedding bells, wouldn't they? Uh, kind of wish I had a um, Christmassy saying. Um, oh, oh, look, got a bit of green leafy stuff that could go over top of that nicely. We could go with that. As I say, these are all my little cut off bits. And this is generally what happens is that I end up going through them all. And uh, for some bizarre reason, I've actually started making up different cards here. Oh, look at that one. I wonder if that would have been nicer in the middle of there. <laughs> right oh my gosh oh look at that that one's um that one's a bit different obviously i had a whole heap of bits that um had cut out from something in that um what's in this one? Oh, look at that we've got half a tree a christmas tree okay well we can finish decorating that one up we've got that what's in this one this one looks feels like it's oh there you go see there, that was what happened to the one that um I had earlier so it looks like what I did with that one was I made a square out of designer paper cut pieces and then stuck the in-between pieces back and I even have something on the back of it maybe I should do that as a video at some point put that back to one side that back at the back again um, and I'm still looking on Christmas sayings not getting very far with the Christmas sayings uh, all right. Well, what I might do is I might turn the video off for a bit, make up a whole heap of the things and then show you what I've created with my messy bits. So as you can see, I have a whole heap of messy bits here. Um, all right. And yes, I will be back in a sec. Okie dokie, so I'm back. It's a couple of hours later. My stash of stuff has diminished marginally, <laughs> but I thought I'd show you what I have created. So let's start. We've got this one. So I've just added a few of the champagne, whatever they're called, um, diamante things. And this one has just got a couple of those um, bits in the middle. I've added the season's greetings. Hopefully it still opens right. Yes, it does. Thank goodness. You know what it's like when you um, stamp a card and then go, oh, no, it's the wrong way up. Um, this one, I had this little tiny piece in, in my bits and pieces. So I managed to get a bow out of that. I've added some of the um, absolutely gorgeous opal rounds that are retiring and funnily enough they're reduced lots of um lots of the blingy bits have been reduced quite substantially in the catalogue which is rather nice so that one i've just added a saying and a bit of bling down the bottom there that's from the um i've forgotten what they're called but they're the gold things from the mini catalogue then this one uh let's see whether i can find the other half of this one there it is so 
these two were kind of made together so what I did was I used this and I ended up using it as a mask in the background of that one so that you've got sort of like several trees um, ghostly looking trees hopefully you can see them in the background of that and then I've got this piece that was cut out from the um, the dies that go round and round um, and I can't remember the name of them either. So I'm doing well here. And then some of these beautiful red um, rhinestones that are retiring and reduced again. And a couple more of the um, the opal rounds. And then this one, I've just added some very old retired designer series paper to the background, which happened to be in that stash. Um, and then we've also got this one. So this is one that I had previously stamped all the trees across and done the blue around and then nothing else had happened to it so so now it's now it's completed then we've got this one that previously again I had added this these two pieces and the green piece and then I've just added some extra bits to it to finish it off and then this one and oh no there's one more after this so there's that and the last but not least is this one here which is just a little bit different i originally had thought i would be doing it this way round but then i kind of liked the idea of putting this onto it and it does it does stand up of its own accord uh don't know whether you can kind of see that or not but i'll be taking photos of them all anyway um, it's sort of like that. I've, I've added this little extra piece in here just to make sure that it will stand of its own accord. Um, and, oh, go back. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, so I will do a blog post on these so that you can have a better look at them um, and come back and join me next Saturday. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.